The 43 clips of video released by the city of Memphis include traffic, sky cop, dash cam, and body camera videos of the night Tyree Nichols was beaten by former Memphis police officers, including interactions with paramedics, Shelby County Sheriff's Office deputies, and other Memphis police officers and Tyree Nichols' parents, Rodney and Rovon Wells. Why, what happened? Uh, he was, um, intoxicated. Former MPD Lieutenant Dwayne Smith, the on-scene supervisor January 7th, 2023, can be seen on body camera footage speaking with Nichols' mother. Okay, so what's going on and what do you need to do? Well, we were just, I, well, I'm here to try to, uh, I'm trying to find out if you, uh, if you know him to take any kind of uh, uh, drugs or uh, narcotics in back. No. Okay. Okay, because it, it, it appeared to be on something other than alcohol, that's why I'm asking. The Wells then go speak with Officer Preston Hemphill near Ross and Rains Road. We tried pulling over your son. Mm -hmm. He ran from us. Hemphill would later mention on body camera video that he had searched Nichols' car and didn't find anything. My yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Not Tyree. Backseat dash camera video from Officer Irma Montez, who was also on scene that night, picked up audio between her and another officer referring to the Scorpion unit as, quote, two hands-on and adrenaline junkies, and they were trying to up one another. By that point in the night, Nichols was already at St. Francis Hospital, where he would die three days later. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.